Well, we have two topics today for our doctor on call. A recent World Health Organization study linking processed meat, like hot dogs and bacon, you, I'm sure you remember this, uh, linking those things to cancer, it raised a lot of concern and a lot of confusion. And Dr. Zorba Pastor has some thoughts on the mammogram story we just saw. Welcome to Live at Four. Hey, it's welcome to our new digs. I love it. I love it. So, so we, they were talking about breast and dense breasts and right. how mammograms don't necessarily work well on that. Well, let's talk about their false positives and false negatives. Okay, so a false positive is, oh, there's a lump in the breast and we've got to biopsy it, and then the biopsy turns out to be normal. So that's a false positive mammogram. In other words, it looks like there's something there, but in fact it's benign. So we're used to that. But there's a false negative rate in mammograms too, where it appears to be normal and it turns out there really is cancer there. And guess how high it is? It's really high, 20%. Wow. Wow. 20% of all breast cancers are not, you cannot find them on the mammogram. So mammograms are far from perfect. And that's why there's some other tests that are around there. And that's, but these new guidelines take that into consideration. So you can't always depend on a mammogram. There, you know, there's a false negative rate. Well. One in eight women now are being diagnosed with breast cancer. Right. It, it's, right. it seems to be exploding. Do you think that's partially because of the tech, uh, advances in technology? It's the advances. Or? We're finding that. And also, there's, there are a number of women who have something called DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ, which we call cancer. But in fact, some believe that some of those are really precancer. So part of it is labeling. And it, for some women who believe they have cancer, actually, they have more of a precancer that may never become cancer. And if we had better imaging and better ways of testing it, we wouldn't have to be doing all the biopsies that we're doing. Mm -hmm. So you just do observation on that a lot of times rather than surgery. Well, and that's exactly where you've, a woman has to talk to her doctor. It's got to be individualized. So the women with no family history, the new guidelines, no family history, no risk factors, mammogram every year from the age of 45 to 55, and then from 55 on every other year. And the American Cancer Society now has those guidelines, and they're in a direct, uh, they're in direct consideration of the U.S. Public Service Task Force that came up with these guidelines in 2007. Mm. It took them eight years to be able to come up with and say, yes, we agree with you, so. All right, let's move on to smoked meat. Yes, yes, <laughs> hot dogs. <laughs> Bologna. What, what do you think of this study? Sausage. Well, I think uh, we've known for a long time that meat can cause co a cancer of all sorts. We know, for instance, that colon cancer is common in the U.S., and we know that stomach cancer is common in Japan. So we know they eat differently than we do. They get one type of GI cancer. We get another type. We know that uh, cancer is caused by red meat more than other things. And I think eating a bologna sandwich every single day for lunch, like my mother gave me in elementary school, uh -huh. is not the best thing in the world. So I just don't eat quite as much. Well, what I think caused so much concern is that the study linked, made a link between eating hot dogs and bacon and that it would do as much damage as And smoking. that is absolutely not the case. Unless you're having smoked, if you're having bacon three times a day, you are eating wrong. You don't need to have this study to know that you're eating wrong. There's only so much bacon you can have. Bacon every so often is fine and the same for sausage, but cut it down you know that's that's I think but smoking is still much worse. oh there is no comparison let's not forget from a cancer point of view 60% of all cancer deaths in the United States and worldwide are from smoking 60% so it's a huge number and colon cancer although it may be there it's something we can pick up and treat so it is not comparable to smoking at all but it is a risk factor for cancer and that means cut it back I'm still going to have my Chicago hot dogs when I go to Chicago. And, and smoking bacon is the worst thing. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't keep it lit. <laughs> Devil egg. Devil egg. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. So that's very nice. I think. Thank you. I'll have it. But I'm not going to eat it on the air because it'll be too messy. All right, Zorba. Thanks, Zorba. Good to see you. Stay well.